This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Part uh, Lesson 17, Complex Sprite Movement, Part 7. I see a bunch of code. I have to hit Run to test it out. Ooh, our rock is flying through there. Maybe it was thrown. Are we going to add? Nope. Just, okay. Well, let's see what we're doing. It's weird that it goes up. Let's see what we're doing here. Simulating gravity. In the last level, you slow down a car with the sprite.x velocity block and counter pattern. It almost looked like the car was getting pulled to the left. If you use this pattern with the sprite.velocity y block, it will look like the sprite is always being pulled down, which is exactly what gravity does. True. Do this. The rock is thrown in there, but it never falls back down. Use the sprite.velocity y block with the pattern with the counter pattern to make the rock slow down and then fall in the one direction. Okay, so we want it to slow down and fall in the other direction. Experiment with the different values in your counter pattern. Do you, uh, do you want the rock to slow down quickly or gradually? What looks more realistic to you? Discuss with your partner, hi partner, uh, why are you setting the rock's initial velocity outside of the loop? Okay, so we set the initial velocity outside of the loop because we only need to set it once, right? So once we set that, this in the draw loop, which runs 25 or 30 times a second, that is going to keep changing it. We don't need to set the velocity and then change it back to exactly what we set every time, right? That would be like setting the animation inside of this every time. The animation isn't going to be changing, though. The velocity will, but if we do velocity equals... That sets the velocity exactly back to what we started with, whereas we want to change it. Okay, so what do we do? Use the velocity y block with the counter pattern to make the rock slow down and fall in the other direction. All right, so that means I need my variable y uh, x equals or whatever, boop, and then I'm going to slow it down. So if I am going up, is x is y increasing or decreasing? y is decreasing, but if I'm going down, y is increasing, right? Because this is 0y, this is 400. So we definitely want to be adding under math. I'm going to grab my addition to y. I'm going to go to sprites now. Let's close that. Sprite y, drop that in there. Sprite y, drop that in there. We don't have anything called sprite. We created this variable called rock, and that's our, well, it's our rock sprite. And then I am going to add, hmm, if it starts at negative 10, hmm, let's add, in the last level we did 0.25, so let's try that. Keep in mind, right, so this is a draw function. It loops many, many times. What's going to happen, our, it's going to blank our background to sky blue. It's going to change the velocity. So at first, when the velocity is negative 10, it's going to now make the velocity of y plus 0.25, which is negative 9.75 so it's going to make rock dot velocity y negative 9.75 it's going to draw a sprite a little bit further uh along right and then it re goes to the top blinks the screen we don't even see the screen empty though it changes the velocity and redraws the sprite slowing it down each time until it well it falls back and turns around hopefully let's hit run and see timber <laughs> and it's falling back the other way and like it suggests we can definitely change this up right if i make it 0.1 it might i don't know will it go off the screen yep but it should fall back down eventually Oop. right so that took too long so i don't know let's try 0.2 and you can kind of test out and see what speed you think is good oh that almost reached the top i kind of like that let me double check experiment with different Yep, we did that. What looks more realistic? That one looks more realistic to me. Your opinion might be different, which is fine. It's an opinion. All right. So this is the code that worked for me. Again, what I added was this stuff. And then I did the point two. Uh, make sure it's addition, though. Awesome. Let's keep going. 